For Christmas, I wanted to show you something very special to me. This is the original Rudolph that Build a Bear released back in 2004. So he is 12 years old and he's still in great shape. This is the entire collection that they released, so I didn't leave anything out. They did this when Rudolph was, it was during the 40th anniversary. This is the only time they released his friends because they have done Rudolph over and over and especially after when they added Clarice they just kept doing her over and over because they're so popular. So you got Yukon Cornelius, Hermie the Elf, and Bumble the Abominable Snowman. And yes, the sleigh. And I actually have the original catalog They, they sometimes release the, they have the spring catalog or the summer, letters, but I like to collect the good holiday catalogs. This is the original one, well, the, the one that was released in 2004. See, there was a Christmas tree you could have bought at that one point in time. That was really cool. I remember that on display. That was at the Downtown Disney, the build at Downtown Disney in California, not the one in Florida. Here he is. See? Slay and everything. That was, of course, the DVD. Didn't leave anything out. See, and some, for some reason, they only did his friends once. But yeah, his nose, by the way, lights up. And there is a story behind this. Several years, I'm talking about like for several, it was like years, like several years, where when his nose, eventually the, the wires got disconnected, the button was originally in his ear. For those of you who know what I'm talking about who have the original Rudolph, the button was in the ear before they changed it to where the, the batteries were like on the side. Because they kept having complaints about how the nose would eventually stop working because the wires, those wires are very thin. It's like, it only takes just only a little bit, especially with play and stuff, for it to just disconnect and everything. So, like, I took it to Build-A-Bear. They changed the batteries. It was the fundamental problem was the wiring. And for those of you that have this original Rudolph, take it to a hobby store. Because I had this idea that if we took it to the hobby store, to, just to see what they say. And they said that they could just, they could weld the wires to reconnect them together. Because they we could see what the problem was when you just, when we just cut open the head. The build bear workers, they cut open the head. We just tried to see what was the problem. And yes, the hobby store, they, they took care of it. And then new batteries, make sure it's not corroded or anything. And all we had to do, and then just make sure the batteries are fresh. And he is as good as new. And what I did, to, I had to cut, I had to take him to Build-A-Bear to cut him open. The workers, they, they, one of them recommended that we put the button on the back of the head, because that's where it is right now. And the, well, first they had to cut open the ear. And then they had to move it to the back of the head. And they have, Build-A-Bear has this thing called, place called uh, Bear Hospital. And what you do is you send your Build-A-Bear friends, that's what they call them, if they're dirty or they're just in bad shape, they'll professionally stitch it up for you for free. Take it to your nearest Build-A-Bear place and they'll, they'll send it away and for free they'll just take care of it. Of course it has to be a Build-A-Bear item. And that's what I did. They, because they wanted to professionally get his ear stitched up properly. So, he is as good as new and he is in excellent shape. Now, the original sound that he came with, it was just no lyrics, like no singing. It was just music. And that one eventually got degraded. It was very short. But when they kept releasing Rudolph over and over, I just got a replacement. So this is not the original one. This goes much longer and they're singing.
And there you have it. Now the sleigh here, let me take this fur coat off. And yes, this is also used for dogs. The, their dog that, they call them pal, promise pets now, but they used to be called kennel pals. So this was also, you can also use this on one of their dog that they, one of the dogs that they have. So anyway, yeah, the jingle bell collars, let's see. This sleigh here, as you can see, it's attached. It's just, just stretchy. Now I have the original Clarice, but, and the next, she was not released. She was not added the next year as this one. She was released the year after that one. So anyway, I think that next year, the next year after this, of 2005, they released Frosty, but anyway. So here we have, so he's got the little, he's got the little, <laughs> he's got the handles, or you can just, you can give them to anybody. And he's in excellent condition too. There's the tag. And Rudolph's best friend, Hermie the Elf. And he is still nice and white. Just gotta keep him off the floor, just keep him in nice storage. Still play with them if you want, or just leave them out, but you just, if you wanna keep your toys in good condition, take care of them. Now this is, this is, uh, feels like it's made out of plastic, but it folds up very nicely. Head. very nicely and the designs on both sides now let me show you more of the catalog I actually have a couple of other holiday catalogs just to give you an example and this was let's see what year was this one I don't know what year this one was but they also changed the look of clarity sometimes Yeah, and they also did Frosty again. This is not, this is this is not quite as old. But see, the original Clarice did not have a heart. Her heart lights up. Now the last release they did was for the fiftieth uh, anniversary for Rudolph. For Rudolph. That's not this one here. This is two thousand twelve. And one was, um, one Clarice, I don't know if it's this one, no, I don't think it's this one. One Clarice, sh her heart actually, um, grew in three different sizes, like it, like it, it was like, it grew bigger, her heart grew bigger when you, when you, when it lit up. So, that is, that is pretty cool, but anyway, this, let's see, let's get the right off back there. Alright, so this is the first Clarice that was released. This is just added here, this coat. I want to give her a coat because Rudolph had one. And the bell is also added. I like her just kind of as herself as a reindeer. I know Bilderberg added a dress and stuff, but I like this one. Now the 50th anniversary, Rudolph and Clarice. I don't know if they're going to be doing any more in the future. I hope so because they're always very popular. Um, Clarice had a gold bow with uh, red dots, and um, Rudolph's antlers were bigger, and they were also gold. That's what I noticed with these Rudolphs that they kept releasing after. This is the only one, the original one, that actually, where his antlers were this small. So anyway, her bow here is not detachable, but she's so darling. And I love that song she sings in the movie. Now, they didn't have, I wish they had a build burst I wish they had her song available so you can put it in her pot, but they didn't. So what they would use um, in substitute, you could choose up on the housetop. But I wish that they had Clarice's song that she sang in the movie. That would have been really neat. So anyway, there's these two together. Oh, they look so cute. Now, um, a couple of years ago, for the Merry Mission, they released a bunch of... Uh, reindeer and you could choose um, 
kind of like two different colors. Now this one is not mine, this darker one here. So you can choose these two and you can choose a name, uh, Prancer, Donner, Dancer. And um, Donner's, Donner's, Donner's Rudolph's father. So this, even though this is not what <laughs> Donner looks like, this is, this would be obviously his name's Donner. So we have him that's like, he's the dad. This Prancer. Even though all of Santa's team, all the reindeer, they're all males, but it's Bill the Bear. You want to be a little flexible. She's got blue eyes. She's got a little bit of a little tinsel stuff, kind of like uh, Glitzen this year, Golden Glitzen and the Glitzen of the previous year. So she looks really nice. So this is just kind of like the team. And, of course, you can have these guys, including Clarice, pulling the sleigh. Let me just take, off, take, take their coat off. Just got everything. Now, I have Prancer. She's just a friend. Here's not the mom or anything, because they never really show, give away the name of Rudolph's mother. Just Mrs. Donner. That's what they just call her. So I don't know when they started doing the symbol of Build-A-Bear, but you can tell he's like the newer one because they do that. And yeah, female, female reindeer have antlers. I don't like Clary, so you don't have any antlers on this one. Let's see. So this is pretty much what I wanted to show you. I think it's just really nice how they have just, they just kept doing it over and over. So I hope if they do bring back Clarice and Rudolph that they add Clarice's song and of course the famous Rudolph song. And also for the 50th anniversary, they had these 21 inch giant Clarice and Rudolph and they're the, and it was the same thing the big Rudolph because it was the 50th had gold antlers and Clarice had with the gold bow Yeah, usually it's the white stuff that really glows. There's earmuffs. Let's see, we got Clarice. Her bow doesn't really do anything. But her coat does with that little paw print. We got Prancer. Tree that's on the side. You can't, you can't really see it. But you can see the yellow thing that's underlined. Alright, so that's pretty much everything, guys. Uh, don't forget to check out my social networks and my Instagram and Flickr for some nice photos.